dear friends have a good day here in this video today we are going to look at applications of mathematics in sports mathematics in sports the following terms are used in connection with the sports angle of projection it helps us to find the length of six and also helps us to take the lbw decisions trajectory it helps us to find the path of the ball after the batsman hit the ball range it helps us to find the length of the six time of light it helps us to find the speed of a ball angle of projection what is angle of projection the angle of projection is the angle that the direction in which the particle is initially projected makes with the horizontal plane through the point of projection. What is velocity of projection? Velocity of projection is the velocity with which the particle is projected. What is trajectory? Trajectory is the path which the particle describes. With its help, you can find the path of the ball after the batsman hit the ball range the range on a plane through the point of projection is the distance between the point of projection and the point where the trajectory meets that plane it helps us to find the length of the six time of light the time of light is the interval of time that elapses from the instant of projection till the instant when the particle again meets the horizontal plane through the point of projection. It helps us to find the speed of the ball. Have a look at this video. the pit of the ball of various bowlers it helps us to find the length of the ball whether it is short ball full length speed comparison of a ball the angle of projection helps us to find the speed comparison of a ball It shows the length of the boundary. How do you calculate the distance of the six in a cricket match? Here, range of product here the range of projectile helps us to find the distance of the six in a cricket match. The term range of projectile is associated with mechanics, that is mathematical physics, and it helps us to find the cricket six length.
In this range of projectile mechanism, we throw a projectile in the air at an angle without considering the vertical and horizontal components of motion. Based on the angle of hitting, in context of cricket, we can take cricket ball as a projectile and when a batsman hit a 6, it goes at an angle in the air. So, we calculate the length of 6 on the base of angle of hitting. By using projectile formula, we can state R is equal to V squared sin 2 theta divided by G, where V is the velocity at the time of hitting, G is the gravitational force 9.8 meter per second squared, theta is the angle at which the ball is hit. With the use of initial velocity and acceleration of ball, the distance travelled by the ball is computed by the equation s equal to ut plus of at squared, where t is the time the ball stays in the air, u is the initial velocity at which the ball left the bat, a is the gravitational force that is 9.8 meter per second squared, s is the distance travelled by the ball. Have a look at this video. How do you measure the length of sixes in cricket? To measure the length of six, they get 3D image from Hawakai and get the ball trajectory to measure its distance. But they can measure till where the ball hits the stadium and they will not measure the length of the six until where will the ball hits the ground. Have a look at this video for a LBW decision. is 
as uh, the umpire said, n not out. Ponting uh, is still uh, trying to decide, I think. Is he going to have a go? Yes, he is. And uh, what you must remember now is that uh, more than half of the ball must have going to hit the stumps, otherwise it goes back to the umpire's call. It looked like Brad Haddon wasn't convinced and Ben Hilfenhaus was the one who said, I am convinced. I think this is very, very tight. Doesn't matter where it pitched. Ah, missing the stumps. So Trot gets away with it by a hair's breadth. Yes, well, there we are. Good decision. The fact that he didn't play a shot uh, didn't make any difference. This is the diagram shows the angle and the distance of where a ball travels once it pitches. How the LBW decisions are taken in cricket match. Hawakai is a technology used in cricket which gives you your virtual understanding of the angle and the distance of where a ball travels once it pitches. One very common use of Hawakai or the LBW decision where the viewers can see the virtual future path of the ball after it's being pitched and in conclusion get an idea of whether the batsman should actually have been adjudged LBW or not. Path of the projectile is a parabola. Let P of X, Y be the position of the particle at a time t seconds after projection. Then, x equal to the horizontal distance described in t seconds equal to u cos alpha into t and y is equal to vertical distance described in t seconds equal to u sin alpha into t minus of g t squared. Here, the horizontal distance helps us to find the length of the ball travelled that is the length of 4 or length of 6 and etc. And the vertical distance described in t seconds helps us to find the height of the 6. These two equations are the parametric equations of the trajectory.